Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to be taking a look at whether or not you should stay with this person or should you stay with this person, see what the future might look like, see what the cards predict for you in, you know, in a couple of months from now or, you know, in, in, a, in a year from now, see what will unfold next. Um, as always, guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what they predict for you in terms of you and this current romantic energy, okay? Um, I will be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards as well, purely because I feel like they may have some very helpful uh, messages that they could, um, that could bring you guidance. Okay, so you've got strength. Okay, within the next few months. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this connection has really tested your strength or your patience or will be testing your strength or your patience within the next few months. Remember, any storms that you have to go through in life, you know, um, like especially if you're, fa if you're going through something difficult or challenging with your uh, with your partner understand that ultimately it's like a test okay it's a test to see whether what the two of you have is strong enough to withstand the storm to withstand the stormy weather that's coming in for you so yes essentially you may be going through something challenging but it's going to strengthen you and i see that your connection with this person is going to go from strength to strength okay it's going to deepen it's going to tighten it's going to strengthen the two of you are going to be so much closer than where you are and i feel like it's only within the matter of the next few months it could be as soon as next month or a couple months from now there may be a test that your relationship will be put through you may have to jump through hoops so this person might have to jump through hoops to get to you but ultimately if they endure if the two of you endure it's only going to strengthen you and bring you closer together okay so Stick it out for the time being, because in the next three months, it's going to be very telling. Okay, justice, but it's up in reverse here, which is interesting. Okay, reconsider. Okay. What are we, have, what are we reconsidering here? It can be a sign that you feel as though you're not being treated fairly or that your partner doesn't give you the attention, the respect, the love that you deserve um, before you go casting sort of judgment on your partner or on this relationship. You might have to actually reconsider. Okay, so reconsider your judgment or your point of view and maybe just sort of sort of just think on the um, role that you play in the relationship. Or the role that you want them to play just before by sort of you know apportioning the blame to them here um, also remember I mean you know if you are if you do feel like you're being treated fairly unfairly sorry or unjust in the relationship where you feel like this person you know they don't give you enough of the time or the attention or the love that you deserve here remember that the uh, justice card indicates that you know you may you you feel like you're ready for the relationship that you deserve but it can also indicate that there's a lack of balance here and that you might have to sort of fight okay for that balance or for the equal, equilibrium here as well and also just remember okay you might have to like there may be certain boundaries that you also have to reconsider in the relationship because you may have to reconsider some of the boundaries you've put up with this person okay maybe they're not firm or rigid enough and maybe that's why they're overstepping boundaries or maybe they're not there in the first place because justice tells us you know how we we teach people how to treat us okay and what we put up with ultimately is sort of what we get here what we end up with so you know just make sure that before you apportion the blame to them, make sure you also take accountability for the role that you play here, guys. It's way too many cards. Keep shuffling. Queen of Pentacles, okay. Queen of Pentacles. 
compromise. Okay, this is someone who cares deeply for you. Okay, but what this relationship needs, I feel like, is a balance or is an equilibrium. Some boundaries might help communicating with each other. You know, communication promotes trust in a relationship and a sense of openness here. There's some compromises that you have to make. Again, you know, it just goes back to, because I feel like um, maybe your person isn't doing right by you because you feel like maybe the two of you haven't really spoken, you know, about your intentions or your motivations for this connection. There's a certain, and there needs to be a compromise here, okay? You have to find a way to meet each other in the middle. So you have to find a balance, okay? Make sure that your person is meeting you halfway and not a quarter of the way, okay? Make sure you're doing the same. So there's a level of balance that needs to be achieved here and a compromise needs to be made, okay? You might have to compromise something in order for this relationship to survive and flourish or they may have to compromise something here as well, okay? It's all about, it's a two-way street here, so there needs to be this balance because you deeply care about one another, okay? So, and I'm seeing there is potential for something very fruitful, very abundant. Um, you know, you've got a lot of yellows in the spread here. So the future ultimately can look very bright. Just because it's a little bit dimly lit now doesn't mean, you know, the future isn't looking bright. You've got a very strong foundational factor. You guys are very close in a sense, but I feel like you can build on that, you know, um, if you learn to compromise a little bit better, if you learn to sort of um, communicate with each other a little bit more here. Like, communicate openly and honestly about what it is that you want. Because you care for each other diff very deeply, but it's almost like you have two different ways of expressing that care for one another. It's almost like your energies are so different, you have to find a way to complement those energies. Listen to your intuition, okay? The Hierophant here, he's a man of uh, nobili uh, nobility. Um, he's very humble here. Kindness, generosity. Um, he's a very spiritual energy, the Hierophant. Listen to your intuition, okay? So your intuition is trying to tell you something about this person, okay? And about this connection. If you feel like, you know, if you're in a very challenging situation with this person, if you're experiencing a tumultuous time with this person, but your intuition is trying to tell you, you know, just stick it out. I know there's some good that's going to come from this. Or I know this person can change. I know that, you know, they have it in them to improve themselves and try and improve, you know, the, the, the connection here. If your intuition is trying to tell you something, listen to it. Even if it's, you know, very different to what the cards say, whatever... You, I'd much rather that you supplement your intuition. I'm so big on intuition, by the way. So I'd much rather you supplement your intuition with that of the tarot guides because I feel like your intuition could never steer you wrong. I'm not saying that the cards can, but I feel like you're into, at the end of the day, you're an expert or your intuition is an expert on you and your relationship and, you know, what's best for you. So don't ignore your intuition, okay? Um... There is possibility for a commitment. There's a possibility for engagement. There's a possibility for for marriage. There's a possibility to have a very traditional, spiritual, emotional union with this person. But I feel like there needs to be some work that needs to happen until then. I'm also seeing that there is a forgiveness here that needs to happen. I'm not sure if it's you needing to forgive their energy for something that they might have said or done to you in the past. And learn to be able to accept that and move on from it, okay? You can you can sort of forgive someone or something. It doesn't mean you have to forget, okay? You don't have to force yourself to forget either. You can revisit that from time to time. You can sort of let that be like a lesson or a reminder of what you don't want going forward. But I feel like forgiveness is, you know, forgetting is not as important as... You don't have to forget at all, but forgiveness is... Not only for their sake, not only in order to release, you know, them of the guilt and the hurt, but for your sake, you know, releasing yourself from the shackles, from the shackles of this pain, this hurt or resentment. So there is a need for you to forgive something or if this person needs to be able to do some forgiving here in order to do some moving forward with you. All right, guys, these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.